man. I'm out here with Andrew, uh -oh. man. Uh -oh. I, I got to ask you, man. Get your thoughts on uh, Keith at the qualifiers. Over here. Uh, I think he did pretty good for his first time going out there. But, of course, you know I wanted him to do better. Um, I didn't get to um, go, but I went out there with my man, Durf from Austin Hill, took care of him for me. Did a great job. Um, first time at the Nationals, no experience for him. I think he did good. He'll do better next time, though. You know, he actually uh, has the Golden Gloves Championship coming up this weekend. Yes, he's in the Golden Gloves Championship this weekend. Um, expecting him to do great. Hoping for him to do great. Want him to win. It'd be a good nod on his belt if he can put it off. Now, what, uh, while I got you, man, well, what's your thoughts on the DMV talent, man, as far as at the national qualifiers and how they did over the weekend? I think I think DMV has some of the best fighters out there, period. Uh, I just wish everybody get together and work more. I think we'll shine a little bit more. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. Then you you, you don't you would love to see that uh, with the camaraderie in the area, especially with such top level talent that we have in the area. Yeah, I just think if everybody work together a little bit more, we're able to come out with more um, championships. We still did good, but I just think if we work more together as a team, as a region, I think we'll do. I just think we'll dominate. We, we have a lot of special talent here. Now, I, I got to get your thoughts on the fights over the weekend. Uh, Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, prior to the fight, who you were uh, going for? Or you thought you were going to win? Well, remember I told you I thought it was going to be a 50-50 fight? The fight played out the way I thought it was going to play. I thought that Plant was going to be definitely leading the, the way he was. I thought Benavidez was going to come on at the end like he was. But I just think Plant did a better job than I, that, that people expect with the boxing part of it. But I knew the pressure would eventually get to him. But he showed great heart, great character, and um, he dug down deep and made it through the fight. Now, with the performance by uh, David Benavidez, do you think he will get that Canelo Plant fight in the future? I will hope for him to get that fight, but... You don't see it. Huh? I don't see it happen. Benavidez is um, a young guy coming up. Um, I think his punch rate is too much for Alvarez right now. Alvarez wouldn't move the way Plank would move, and that would be a dangerous fight for Alvarez. Now, just looking at the other fights, man, you know, there was a controversy with the Chris Colbert fight. In your opinion, do you think he, uh, he, he did enough to win that fight? I think Chris Colbert did enough. I think it could have been a, a draw, but I, I definitely don't think it was a robbery because um, I think, um, what's the guy name, uh, Riles yeah. let him off the hook. Riles had him when they knocked him down. You know, that's the same thing Trey said. He, yeah. Every time he had him hurt, it seemed like he did let him off the hook. Yeah, I think he let him off the hook. I think Riles was worried about going to 10 rounds because he never went 10 rounds before. And as you can see, after I think maybe the fourth or fifth round, Riles slowed down. And Chris Colbert started jabbing, jabbing right hand. Started out boxing him. So that's why I don't think it was a robbery. It could have been a draw, but it wasn't no robbery. Like he dominated Chris Colbert and they gave it to Chris Colbert. So mm -hmm. no, I think it was a good fight. Um, it could be a rematch, but the way Chris Colbert oh, yeah, said, hell he now. said it ain't going to be no ain't rematch. Gonna be no. Because yeah. he said, oh, boy, disrespect, but he disrespect, wanted to do it, yeah. but then he was like, nah, I said, since you going to roll like that, yeah. nah. De definitely, definitely a great fight. Um, I like to see more guys, younger guys, take the challenge like that. That's what boxing is about. You take a loss, you come back, you live to fight another day. We got to get rid of everybody trying to be undefeated and don't want to take certain fights. It's hurting the sport. Young guys need to take them challenge like that. You know, speaking of that, man, what was your thoughts on, on Joey Spencer taking, uh, taking that fight? Man, I thought Joey Spencer shouldn't have even stepped in the ring with that guy. And as you can see, that's how it looked. It was two different levels of... Um, it's just two, li two different levels right there. But he, he asked for that fight, and you got to be careful. Sometimes you ask for something, and you're not ready for that. Is there a situation where you have to uh, convince your fighters at times, like uh, removing a certain way you might want to slow down? Yeah, I just, I mean, he asked for that fight. I don't know. I wouldn't agree to a fight like that. Like, I told my guys who's watching the fight, I told them, man, that's just not going to be a good outcome. I, can, I know... Joey Spencer. I know the guys he fought. He actually fought Sean West, which was a guy that Trayvon fought on the tank card, which he went like four rounds with him. And Trayvon stopped him in like the first round. And I told him then, I said, that guy, he's not fighting them type of guys that take that type of fight that he took. So I knew right then and there that he wasn't ready for that type of opponent. You know, it's funny that you say that, man. I know this, man, how, how you really gauge and, and, and setting up certain fights to, to have a comparison to other fighters, man. So to see how 
for example, how Trey is moving, man. I've seen comparisons with his opponents and how he's stopping them earlier. And I saw uh, uh, a post he had put up uh, to explain the, the 147 top 10. Yeah. Why did you put that up? Well, <laughs> I put that up because them the top 15 guys, right? So we're in a position right now, we're not trying to fight nobody that's ranked like 100 or 80 or something like that. We're really trying to fight guys in the top 15. So them are the guys that we're looking at. We're not looking behind us. We're looking forward, trying to fight guys in the top 15. We have a lot of top 15 opponents thrown our way. So just putting it out there to let people know that's the direction we are going in. We're not looking backwards. We're looking forward, trying to get guys like that. Now, I got to ask you, man, how's the afternoon session with the younger kids that you got going on with the program right now? Well, the young kids is doing good. I actually signed up with like four more new kids, trying to keep my young my young amateurs going. Without the young amateurs, I won't be have pros later on in life. So I definitely, I'm all full gas with my amateurs, trying to keep my amateur program good. Yeah, what, what, for people who might want to be a part of Triple Threat, bringing their kids in, what's some of the things that, that you're looking for and not looking for? <laughs> I mean, I have a, I, I have some kids that come in that don't um, fight. They come in because they might be bullied in school. They might be um, overweight. They might be obese or stuff like that. I have, a, I, have I also have some kids that have autism. So I'm an open book for that, but I'm a full-fledged boxing gym. I want kids that fight, but I'm not going to turn down a kid just because they don't want to fight. I guess my, uh, no, not, not, not in that aspect. You know how... Uh, Fathers want to come in oh, um, and, and be well, the coach instead of letting you do your job. Well, I, I do, let me say this again. I do not allow no parents hanging in the gym while I'm training. If you want to train your kid, I advise you to pick another gym. They have to drop their kids off, come back and pick them up. That's something I definitely don't do. Um, but some gyms do that, some gyms don't. I'm just not one of them gyms that allow it. You sound like Daryl now. Daryl said the same yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> drop your kids off, come back, pick them up, they be ready to go, and um, I take care from there. Hey, man, I appreciate your time as always, Andrew. <laughs> and give a little sight to the boxing over the weekend. The boxing over the weekend was great. We need more fights like that. And let me say this real quick. Um, that fight with Tank and Ryan Garcia, that's, that's what we need. We need two young guys, and they prime taking these type of fights. I think that's going to be one of the best fights this year. One of the well, I definitely this will year. have it on paper. Yeah. I won't be there in person. Oh, I won't be there, but I'm going to definitely watch it. Right, that's what's up, man. There we have it. Andrew Council, Triple Threat, Jim. We out.